Yeah. Eh. Hey guys! <laughs> We're doing a lip swatch video for you today. Just watching it like it's hot. That's how we do. That's what we always say, and it never gets old. I know. I want it to stick. Like I want it to be a thing. Like. like Swatching it like, like it's hot. hot. This is our video series, Swatching It Like It's Hot. Bam. Yeah. Still got it. <laughs> so if you guys enjoy Lip Swatch Fest videos, yeah. please give it a thumbs up. Yes. We That'll know you enjoy it. That'll know you enjoy it. That'll know you'll enjoy it. <laughs> That, that way, way we know though, you enjoy it. it. <laughs> we haven't really done a whole lot of these videos because we didn't, we can't, it's, do you like them, basically. Do you enjoy them? If you do, we will do more. Yeah. Also, if you're just stumbling across this video because you wanted to know what these Maybelline lipsticks look like and you're like, I kind of like you guys. Welcome to our family. You could be a part of it. Click the subscribe down there or on the screen. And also, we love doing drugstore stuff. So if you like drugstore stuff, you'll see more here on our channel. All right, I can't stand it. No. We're gonna just have to jump straight in to swatching these Maybelline Vivid liquid, liquid matte, matte lipsticks. Lippy, gloss thingies. Here's 10 of them, lots of colors. Very broad selection. Yep. Yep. So the first one is Nude Thrill. I'm excited, I like nudes. I didn't know what she was gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> I like nudes. Send all your nudes to Stephanie. Oh God, oh no, that was a lot. So there seems to be a lot of product on the applicator. It's a pretty large doe foot applicator, but I don't feel like the inside thing does a good job cleaning uh -uh. it off uh -uh. when you pull it out. Squeegee is not doing it. No. Uh -uh. This is not liquid. This is what I like to call moussey. Yeah. Also to compare it to like ColourPop, which I feel like sets and gets more dry pretty quickly. If you don't like where it goes dry on ColourPop, like I can move my lips together and it doesn't yeah. feel draggy. Yeah, like I'm rubbing mine together to dispense the product a little bit because the applicator's not doing everything for me. Let's call this like maybe satin finish. So overall, I really like this color. Usually the first like lightest color of the bunch is something that doesn't work on my skin tone, but I think this works on our skin yeah, tone. Yeah, it's a really pretty peachy tone nude and I love it. I call this an everydayer. Yeah. Put it on my lips everydayer. <laughs> and let's go. This one might be my favorite so far. We've only had two, but it's Nude Flush, and I love it. It's like a pinker, brighter version of the last one. I think it's warmer tone than it's I definitely more thought opaque. it was gonna be. I definitely thought it had more of like a nude, neutral look when I saw it in the bottle, but it's definitely warmer. Mm -hmm. A lot more of like the peachy look, but I feel like it's, it's brighter like darker and darker. Than the first one. Yeah, but it's still pretty and it still goes with my skin tone. Snaps for Maybelline for having colors that match my skin tone. I usually have a hard time with light colors. I don't so. know how it's gonna go for other people. Um, that could be questionable. But actually, you have more of a pinky tone. You have more of a pinky tone and I have more of a warm tone, so. Yeah. It's more or less colors being too light, not just the tone of them. Yeah. When they start out collections with really light colors, yeah. they don't look so good in my skin tone. Yeah, I love this one. It's a good one. Also, what I'm gonna say is the texture kind of reminds me of the Revlon Ultra HD yeah. matte. Yeah. Because it has a very, I wanna say almost like a gel feeling. Also, I feel like it makes my lips look and almost have like, like a plumper yeah. look to yeah. it. Whereas some of the mattes, I feel like can kind of pull all the moisture out of your lips and just make them look really thin and crinkly. And bad. Not cute. <laughs> Those, yeah, thin and crinkly. moisturizing. Yeah, thin and crinkly are not things that you want when describing your lips. <laughs> Almost any body part. Thin and crinkly, <laughs> it's just bad. No thin and crinkly things. Oh, what about thin crinkly fries? I mean, I like them. I don't know if you like them. I like kind of medium crinkle fries. Yeah. I'm sitting here trying to get a good whiff and I just keep sniffing. Is it floral? I'm getting a sweetness, but it's not like a super cupcake smell or super fruit smell or super floral smell. There's something, but it's not much. Oh no, do I get it in my nose? I don't say it. Maybe as we go on, we'll figure out what it is. I will say we it's not- It's not up here. It's like- It's very subtle. It's not overpowering. Hello, lips. <laughs> Hmm. Pink Charge. Now this is the Vivid collection, not Vivid. So definitely gonna have some electric colors in here. <laughs> I would say this one wants to be patchy. And since it's such a bright color, you see like the inside of your lip. I hate I know. when it won't like cover that up and like you see people talking and you're like, oh, I see where your lip. Go, this one just starts looking bad. Yeah, you know? yeah. 
it's not a cute look. Yeah, I think that light colors, like neon colors, they tend to cling to skin differently. Yeah. And, and it's not like a personal thing of like brands. It's just something with the consistency of bright colors in all brands tends to be a little patchy. But I gotta admit, this isn't as patchy as some of the like liquid to matte dry formulas. Oh, and it gets on your teeth, it's like chalk. Not a fan of this one. I feel like I could wear this to like an electric, like a- Rave. Like a rave. <laughs> Do people rave anymore? Yeah. I don't know, don't they go no, to like the- No, they EDM. Yeah, like, like that's what I was gonna say. I feel like I could wear this to like an EDM festival and yeah. be like, I glow in the dark. Like the ones yeah. that are like overnight that you go to at night and stay up all night. I'd wear this lipstick to that. I'd be like, mm -hmm. This one goes on a little bit better than the lighter pink. It's electric pink, which is kind of what I thought the last one was, but it's like a light electric pink. And this one looks so much better on the lips. It's not nearly as patchy. And this is probably what I would go for out of the collection if I was going for a hot pink or like a like an electric pink. Plus it has a blue undertone, which is gonna be better for the teeth, yeah. This makes me wish it was summer. Don't wish the hot months here already. I know. So much easier to apply. It's not really my comfort zone anymore. I just feel kind of like, where's my Kylie nude lips? I know, it's so funny. I've been doing nude for so long that even in the winter time this year, I haven't done nearly as many vampy colors. Mm -hmm. I've kept it mostly nude, nude to brown. And so I'm kind of wondering what I'm gonna feel this summer. What's gonna be hot this summer? I don't know, if you guys have heard, put it down below. I mean, could that rose orchid color be a lip color? I don't know. I know. Next, we have Fuchsia Ecstasy. And might I say, I'm in ecstasy for this Fuchsia. Did you might say? I did say, huh, I've, oh my teeth. That's cute. Nothing like a good lip swatch video to make you feel like you wanna go home and whiten your teeth. Right? <laughs> or go get a teeth cleaning. This one, very gel yes. steaming. And more than the Musio, the other ones. Yeah. Gosh. I love the color. I love the feel of it. The bolder the colors, the less matte they're looking and seeming. Yeah. I'm starting to forget we're even trying matte lip colors. Because they all have a little bit of a shine to them. I'm having a harder time applying this one. I don't know if it's because it's really slick or what. I forgot how much I like darker lipstick. I know. I know. <laughs> what happened? It looks really good. Like, wait, I, those are my. I have, have lips. lips. It gets on your teeth like it a does. mug. I got overlined towards the corner and that just goes to like clown Joker mouth. Joker status. Yeah. Okay, this one is orange. It's called Orange Shot. It's more of a red orange because I feel like it has a little bit of red in it. My lips feel huge right now. So in the tube, it looks like a burnt orange, but it ended up being kind of a red orange, I would say. It's not like super electric, not like super dark. I think it looks pretty. And shockingly for like a red orange, it doesn't really make my teeth look yellow. I feel like orange lips have been kind of big. So this would be a fun one if you like the idea of it, but you're kind of scared. Cause it still brings back to a little bit of a, like a reddish orange. I think I applied a thinner coat. And yeah. if you go thinner. It sets quicker. Yeah. Cause mine has a more matte appearance and yours looks much more shiny. Mine looks like Vinyl-y. <laughs> it does. It's so weird because I went really thin with it and it still has a good color payoff, but it's just a more matte finish. I like the color more than I thought I would. I thought I was going to hate it. It's pretty. I like it with my brown eyes. Do you do? I do. The next one is Rebel Red. And mm, so rebellia. It's such a rebel. I love a good red. I feel like I really smell this one. Do you? Uh -huh. I went thin on this one as well, and I just really think that's the way to go. Less is more with these. Still have a little bit of a sheen to it. A little bit of a sheen. It kind of helps to do one layer on and, your lower lip. And blend. Do you see how matte that just went? Yeah. It's crazy. I would definitely say these are not the kind of lip color that you can just throw on. Yeah, like you need a mirror, you need time. No more than one cup of coffee in your system. <laughs> Jittery hands do not <laughs> work on these. No. Also, if you go lighter with this red color, I feel like it almost makes Those it look orange. orangey. Yeah, I agree. Not a fan. I wanted this one to be super blue toned. I did too. I just keep like doing my lips together like that and making it go beyond the line, but yeah, rebel red. Do you feel rebellious? I, it's just a red, nothing remarkable. This one is Berry Boost, and I was really excited about this one. It's a lot pinker than I thought. I thought it was gonna be a little bit darker, but I still like it, I still think it looks good. I think it's like a safe bright pink. It's like not a hot pink, but it's, it's a fuchsia color. This one was one of the easier darker ones to apply. I didn't have as hard of a time. I don't hate it. It's just not what I expected it to be. I kinda love it. Ooh. You heard it, she loves it. Like I said, it's like a safe bright color, right? Yeah. Like you still get a little bit of the probably really good for the summertime, but you could also wear it in the wintertime. It's just like purpley red of funness and 
I like it. I wanted it to be more winter, yeah. fall, it's more summer. True. About to put liquid candy on my lips. If you were looking for a vivid crazy color. You found it. This would be the one. What is this one called? Vivid Violet. Vivid Violet. Y'all, I've got like a red ring of death around my lips from me too. taking these off. Weird purples always make my teeth look blue. I don't know, I don't know what to do with this. I think it's fun. Would I put it on for fun just to be like, I have purple lips and whatever? Yeah. It's you fun. might. It's fun. It's a pretty color. Would I buy it? No, because I wouldn't wear it enough to justify buying it again. Oh girl, you saw lamp. Mwahahaha. That's how I feel. I forgot the color, but it's plum. Best plum. I think that speaks for itself. It's definitely plummy. At first, when I started applying it, I was like, whoa, it's black. And then Tracy was like, whoa, it's see-through, sheer, not opaque. But if you build it, it, it will come. It's still a smidge patchy. It's like you're looking for a liquid lipstick, right? And you can't find anything in this color. If it's trying to replace something expensive, maybe, but all in all, no, I would yeah. not get it. I think there are other colors in this line that were done better. Yeah. I feel like this one's a miss. The color is fun, but it just ends up patchy. Looking like the grape Kool-Aid she put on in the Pinterest Beauty Hacks video That's we did. That's what I said when I was playing. I was like, am I putting the grape Kool-Aid on again? It takes a lot, but I really, I do like the color. I do like it on, I like this better than the, I feel like this is more wearable than the last color we showed. Uh -huh. It's definitely more wearable than the other one, but it's still patchy and just not the best of all of them. I'm just seeing that inner lip and it's just it's not cute. It's extra hot pink right now. Yeah. So we hope you guys enjoyed us swatching the like it's hot. Our lips are red and tired and they're ready to go to bed. Yep, Punk so shoe. we're gonna go take these off and dab a little balm on them and tuck them into eating some yummy food. I was like, I just picture lips being tucked into bed. and like, weird. <laughs> All right guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already, because why would you wanna miss our video? You would not want to miss any of them, so make sure you do it and give this video lots of thumbs up. You can only do one, but I'm reminding them again because they, they might not forgot. have heard it. They might not have. Okay, All right, that. we love you guys so much and we'll talk to you in another video super soon. We sure will. Bye.